Yo, what is going on today, everybody? Welcome back. And if you're new, welcome. Today we're doing another SCP. So today's SCP was requested. I was about to say recommended. No, it was requested by... Mr. Fluffy Panda. All right. All right, we got one medium coffee. Oh, perfect. Thanks. Mm. I, I said thank you. Mm. Did did you hear me? I'm I'm being nice. Thank you. I said thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm being nice. Today's SCP is SCP. 1762 where the dragons went all right we about to find out where the dragons went as always the link to the original video will be down in the description below and without further ado let's get into it what is there to be said of where the dragons went just as much as any other tale, and more if you're a romantic. The answer is simple. A cardboard box spray-painted silver. On its side, three words were written in black permanent marker. Here be dragons. Here be dragons. What do we know of its history? Well, it began with a family of creatives, one so imaginative and passionate that they could bend our reality with their thoughts. With their the thoughts? The wonders of their imagination came spilling into the world, gracing it, it with That's whimsy crazy. and light. With this ability, they crafted a room in their home, one filled with magic. This exquisite place had no rival in all the world. Its walls were of the purest white marble, wow. covered in etchings of fantastic creatures. Its ceiling stretched so high it appeared to have no ceiling at all, instead being blanketed by dainty clouds overhead. Wow, but this magical amazing. room was more than just visual splendor. It was also a portal. And this was the place from which the dragons emerged. Their full glory was so grand that it defied description. Awesome. They stood tall and strong. You gotta love dragons. And their bro. eyes were so full of wisdom that anyone caught in their gaze was paralyzed by wonder. We haven't seen the other side of this portal, but if the dragons are to be believed, it is filled with all sorts of natural wonders and fantastic creatures, okay. from towering enigmatic bumpkles to the conniving gem-thieving Zarkars. For years, this family of creatives kept the room in pristine condition, not only for their sake, but for the dragons as well. They spoke they, yeah, often, they growing to understand and love each other. Over the years, they became inseparable friends and allies. Their beautiful friendship is still remembered by the dragons today, or so we believe. It is unknown why the family was unable to maintain the room, but once they stopped, it began to shrink. Man. When it was discovered, the room had become the small silver cardboard box, oh, and it man. sat in a sterile white-walled room in a facility, a room within a room. That's kind of sad. On occasion, the dragon still emerged from the box, but just as the room had faded from its full glory, so too had the dragons. In their own reality, they still appeared as beautiful and strong as ever, but in our reality, the belief in their fantasy world had faded so much that their bodies could no longer be sustained. Turned into paper dragons. Instead, they appeared as paper dragons, oh, flying man. about as shadows of their former selves. Though they didn't inspire as much awe as they once had, it was still a wonder to see hundreds of paper dragons flutter and circle the room when they emerged. They could still observe us, too. Just as we observe them, they sent notes for us to read, updating us how their world had changed since the family left the room. 
You have found us. Thank you. It has been so long since oh, we man, last saw each is, other, friends. This is something. The peace has been upheld. The giants and behemoths have kept their word and have not caused any trouble since you last came and gave the order. We missed your company. How has your family been? Do you still know how to work your room? You are welcome to visit any time. It's strange to see how much your world has changed. So what happened it to the family? It's stranger to see how we now appear in this place. In fantasy, we are much bigger. Or maybe you've grown taller. Fantasy is still the same. We hope you can visit us like you used to. Though our room is as grand as ever, it appears yours has shrunken. We do not understand. The rooms were supposed to be maintained, as was our agreement. Please restore yeah, the why belief. weren't they maintained? That's weird. These notes came with each appearance of the paper dragons, telling tales of how the fantasy world had fallen since the departure of the family. Where, it appeared the family that they go? were very involved in the working That's of so the fantasy weird. world, though in their absence, the order that they created was disintegrating. Like the box that connected the two worlds. The notes grew bleaker over time. The isolation of the box in the facility was detrimental, keeping it away from the imaginative energy it needed to exist. Surrounded by cold, sterile walls so and fluorescent lights, it was cut off from the rest of the world. The next note came with the appearance of only 20 dragons. Friends. We apologize for our few numbers. We have had to remain in fantasy for quite some time. The others are growing impatient. We are trying to keep the peace, but please, oh, a tear. for all of our happiness, it, it is prepare sad. It's the a sad room side, quickly. Though. We know you are trying. Your all family you gotta do is put the, the dragons in, in a room with, with the freaking elementary kids. Their faith in us was them. heartbreaking. They called us friends. And we called them SCPs. We had lost sight of the imagination they thrived on that sustained their magic. The next appearance of the dragons was accompanied by three balls of crumpled yellow paper, oh, which shook man. and rolled around on the floor before laying still, appearing to die. The giants were foolish. Your room was not ready to accept them yet. We're sorry, friends. We hope that we can still see you, but time is growing short for our happiness. What fragile They're peace existed away. in their world seemed to be deteriorating, with frustrated parties like the giants trying to come and speak with us directly. Their bodies, the crumpled pieces of paper, were picked up by the paper dragons and carried back into the box when they departed. Oh, their man. reverence and respect was lost on us. Their visits became shorter and more tension filled, and their numbers dwindled further. The next note was delivered by five dragons, who departed immediately after placing it on the sterile facility floor. Tensions are rising. Fantasy is becoming darker. We, the serpents and the hybrids, are furiously trying to hold them back. But the giants and elves wish to strike and make an entrance. They say that your family has grown stupid and ignorant. We hope this untrue. It would sadden us all greatly to know you have forgotten. And this is a whole. They had been optimistic about our inaction right until this point, but it seemed that they were losing a battle and could no longer afford to hold out hope. A few of us wondered what tragedies were happening on the other side. Surely the immense, shimmering beasts yeah, were holding the unfriendly or forces don't at have bay. Or <laughs> and if <laughs> they couldn't, what would come through the box then? Living paper giants? Real, flesh and blood giants? The threat was assessed to be minimal, though there was nothing we could do, even if we wanted to intervene in their struggle. Soon after the last note, a single red dragon crawled from the box, oh, its man. wings torn and its body noticeably crumpled. Shortly after emerging, it collapsed on the floor and did not move again. War. Goodbye, friends. Oh, 
man. A couple hours later, the box flew open and a white hot fire burst from within, rising high above the box's rim. The heat was so intense that the glass of the observation window began to melt, and the walls blistered and burned, and the ceiling charred. This blazing fire seemed to continue for hours, then suddenly, several dozen crumpled paper balls and torn shreds were thrown out of the box. They fell to the floor, unmoving. Then all at once, the box went still. Wow. It was empty. Just like that. As it always the had been. Over the next few weeks, the box periodically opened with its fiery fury. More paper bodies would appear each time, though their numbers steadily decreased. We had no way of knowing when the box would close for the last time, but it did, and it remained still for months afterwards. Wow. In its silent, still state, one researcher looked inside and discovered a note. Are you still out there, friends? We miss you dearly. Fantasy is no longer safe. Our haven, your beautiful creation, is gone. The giants are dead. The centaurs are dead. The birds have fled. We are going to bury your room. We cannot risk hurting you. This is our goodbye. Wow. Maybe one day this your is family one. can build this another is room. Up. This may be a hollow hope. But we will cherish this thought. The final note from the dragons came some time after. The box had returned to its original state, but with one key difference. The side now read, Here were dragons. Master says that we won't see you again. We are sad. So are the remaining others. We once filled each other's heads with dreams and goals. It is so sad that we cannot share them any longer. Master says we have to go. Who's the master? Says that he will make us a new fantasy. He says you cannot be a part of it. We are sad. We love you. We will not forget you. We are scared. Will you forget us? Wow. Eight years later. What is that? Beasts of the old letters? All right. I guess that was a sad one, man. The dragons, ooh, fantasy land. The, the, the giants, the centaurs, gone, bro. Because they thrived on the imaginative mind. They were placed in a facility that did not have such hopes for them. They needed kids. They needed, they needed to be around a family, and they lost it. They lost it, bro. They lost it. They lost it all. That's, this is one of the, definitely one of the sadder ones. Jeez, bro. Maybe there's a part two where they can come back. I don't know. We'll, we'll just have to find out. We'll just have to find out. But if you guys like this one, make sure to leave a like. The link to the original video will be down in the description below. If you're looking for some more SCP reactions, Make sure to subscribe. I do this every Sunday. And yeah, without further ado, thank you guys for tuning in. And I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace.